Hi, welcome back to Dr. Donovan, Medicine Made Easy. Today we're going to be covering key things that you need to know about Achilles tendinopathy, also known as Achilles tendinitis, including a definition, symptoms, possible complications, and finally, management of this very important condition. This is going to be a high yield video covering the important points I think you need to know. But if you want to learn more, please check out the description box of this video where I've included lots of links for useful extra resources. Also, if you do enjoy this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. That really helps the video and helps the channel, as well as consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. I release new medical education content videos every Wednesday and every Sunday. So first of all, let's start off at the very beginning and try to understand what Achilles tendinopathy is. Well, tendinopathy is the term used to describe pain, swelling, and impaired function of a tendon. The Achilles tendon is the thickest and it's the strongest tendon in the body, and it's found at the back of the heel, but it is prone to injury, especially in very active people. I find that a good way to recall the Achilles tendon being a potential weak spot is to think of the term Achilles heel, which is typically used to describe someone's weaknesses. Now, if we go back to understanding the meaning behind this phrase, we have to go back to Greek mythology because Achilles was dipped into the river Styx by his mother in order to make him invincible. All of his body was touched by the water except for the part of the heel, the Achilles tendon, by which his mother held him. He later went on to die after being shot by an arrow which pierced his heel. So what causes Achilles tendonitis or Achilles tendinopathy? Well, it's typically not related to a specific injury. Rather, the problem results from repetitive stress to the tendon. This often happens when we push our bodies too much too quickly. So for example, if you're a runner, you might find that you're suddenly increasing the amount of miles that you're doing or the intensity of running you're doing, and you find that over time you develop pain around the back of the heel. That's because you're not giving your body a chance to adjust to the new distances, and that might subsequently cause irritation and inflammation of the Achilles tendon. It can also be caused by tight calf muscles, and that's because the calf muscle tightness puts extra stress on the Achilles tendon, especially where it inserts into the heel bone. The Achilles can also be damaged by certain medications which make it weaker, including ciprofloxacin. That's a specific type of antibiotic. If you're taking medications like ciprofloxacin and you notice a pain in the heel, then make sure that you don't do exercises which put too much pressure on the Achilles. And also if you do develop the pain, make sure you speak to a doctor at the earliest opportunity. So basically what's happening is with Achilles tendonitis, the fibers of the tendon are becoming stretched. And if they become stretched too much, there is a risk that you can snap the tendon or it can rupture completely. And obviously this is something that we want to avoid at all costs, because if you do rupture the tendon, then it's most likely that you're going to need surgery. So let's move on and talk a little bit about the signs and symptoms that might indicate you have an Achilles tendinopathy. Well, common symptoms and signs include aching, and that the aching pain is usually felt in the heel. Typically, the pain is aggravated by activity or pressure to the area where the Achilles is. Some other people might describe a stiffness in the tendon, which may occur in the morning or after a period of prolonged sitting. When the doctor or healthcare professional examines you, you might also find that you've got tenderness swelling or crepitus around that area. So let's move on and just talk about how people with Achilles tendonitis are managed. So if you're in the community setting, it's important to identify and manage the underlying causes and contributory factors. So if you're exercising a lot and not giving yourself time to recover, it will be important to obviously decrease the volume of exercise and intensity of training. It could also be helpful to use ice packs to gently massage the area if it is sore and think about using simple over-the-counter pain relief such as paracetamol or Tylenol if you're based in the US. If these simple measures of painkillers, ice and rest don't work after 7 to 10 days then you may need to be referred to a physiotherapist. Finally, if your doctor is worried about the Achilles tendon rupturing, then it's advised you see an orthopedic specialist on the same day. You will typically know if your Achilles tendon has ruptured because you'll feel excruciating pain. So in conclusion, that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. And if you've got any questions or comments, please do leave them in the comment section beneath this video, and I will be sure to get back to you. Thanks for watching the video, and until next time, bye.